cool. Right. I, I suspect I'm the, uh, the only mayor in America that can say that he lives directly across the street of a, of a steel mill. I can count uh, Andrew Carnegie's first steel mill as, as my neighbor. So, um, my family and I live in an old car dealership here in Braddock, Pennsylvania. It was originally an old Chevrolet dealership uh, called Superior Motors. And uh, the construction noise that you might hear uh, right now is the new restaurant and theater that's going in on the lower floor of the building. These ramps right here uh, were actually how cars were driven in to uh, the second floor for repairs or driven up to the roof uh, as part of the car lot. Uh, as I said, it was an old Chevrolet dealership. Uh, I believe the building was built in uh, the early to mid 1920s and was one of the first indoor car dealerships in America at the time. So we, uh, uh, my family and I live on the second floor, uh, which was repairs, oil changes, brakes, and those kind of things were performed here uh, on the second floor. And we just converted it into an open loft living space. And uh, as you can see by the cars and the bikes, it affords a nice uh, uh, venue for, for our kids to drive around. And uh, it's, it's very simple in nature. We just kept uh, existing surfaces like brick walls and concrete floors. We used all scrap uh, wood for the floors. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very minimal kind of treatment and it just uh, is a, uh, an open loft, albeit uh, uh, car dealership, former industrial space that uh, uh, is here across the street from the mill. Cool, and that's the Mon Works plant that we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, that's, that's the Edgar Thompson plant, which is the first uh, steel mill from Andrew Carnegie that has actually been in continuous operation since 1875. And it is now the last uh, steel producing facility of its kind, uh, you know, here in Western Pennsylvania from a region that once uh, produced about half the world's steel.